Select your heroes. And welcome back to another Tatsunoko vs Capcom arcade playthrough. As I said in the previous video, we're going to be doing Team Yatterman, as in Yatterman number one. And Yatterman number two. Yes! These two characters, I believe, from what I've seen from high level play, they're actually one of the best. Like, not as a team like this, but they are considered very high tier characters. We're gonna start off, of course. And they also have a very cool entrance when teamed together. Anyway, Yatterman number one. Very quick. He's got this attack. He basically makes his little pong ball. That. He's also got an attack where you gotta charge him. So basically, down back. That, and then he just shocks him. He's got a run attack which can cancel into three things a jump, a slide, and that thing. He also got something else. I just can't think of it right now, but Yada Man level one, Yada Man number one, supers include this thing, Fire Dog, and it just runs over the opponent. The Fire Dog yet again, but this time, sprays fire on the opponent. You can move it up and down if you wish. But that's best used when they're on the ground, like so. Hopefully you get down in time to hit him. Nope, I didn't get down in time. I missed. But yeah. Yatter Man number one. A really good character. Uh, he's level three. If I can get it. Oh, she's got an anti-air attack. We'll use Yatter Man number two, hopefully, for the second fight to show her off. But yeah, Yatter Man number one is kind of hard to use. He's very, not really advanced. He's somewhat easy, somewhat hard, I should say. Level three, ah, uh, shit, how do you do it? There we go. Is that that? And if you mash the buttons, you do more damage. So look at that. 44 hits. That's Yatter Man number one. Thumbs up for Yatter Man number one. Yes, I actually pronounce Yatter Man number one. It should have been pronounced Yatra Man Dash 1. But hey, what do I know? What a waste of time. You might as well not even show up if you can't even fight. You tell him, Yatra Man. Oh! Saki and Roll. How? What a coincidence. I actually used this team as a playthrough. Anyway, let's see Yatra Man number 2. Uh, what do you call their moves and whatnot? She's a little more advanced than Yatra Man number 1. Like, She's more of a charge character, basically. Yes. Very cool entrance, I know. Yes, let's get, uh... Yatter Man number two in. Basically, that's not a move. She has a charge in which she swings and knocks little electric balls at you, each one doing with, um, whatever move you... I mean, whatever button you press, they each go at a different velocity and track... I can get the freaking last hit here. Come on. Heavy hit. Stop jumping. Do the actual hit. Come on. There we go. That's the last one for that. She has this step attack. Just like Yatter Man. Which she can cancel. She's got like a Chun-Li attack. Which can also go in multiple directions. Except for her heavy. She can charge her heavy attack too. I believe to make it unblockable. She has an other move I can't do right now for some reason. I don't know, but her, one of her level ones. She does this, has three charges. The first one will attack, and then if you let it charge all the way, does massive damage but doesn't go very far. Level another level. Oh yeah, this. She has a shield. A level two, which or level other level one, which basically she summons her little robot friend, which can be very annoying to fight against. Uh, how do you do the, um... That's how you do it, okay. And her level three... Whoops! Wrong... Wrong input. But yeah, the robot friend, it can be set up to do, like, you know, cross-ups and whatnot, unblockables. And her level three... Basically kind of like Yatter Man number one. Goes in there, you mash the buttons, you can do more damage. 
that is Yatraman number two, basically in a nutshell. If you wish to see more of her, just look up some advanced stuff with her. Because somebody will be able to show you her better than I can. There you go, come on! Okay, why didn't you die? There we go. <laughs> I thought I'd just shock roll to death, but apparently that didn't work out in my favor. I should have used Yatterman number two for the victory pose. But yes, that's Yatterman number one and number two in a nutshell, basically. That wasn't as fun as I thought it'd be. How about we try to... Apparently Yatterman number one's a very cocky little brat. So I think they're both kids, Yatterman number one and number two. Correct me if I'm wrong. In fact, do so. But yeah. Here we go for the rest of this video. Gonna be insulting the computer and insulting right, other things. Easy, like Nico Bellic here, I mean Frank West and Ipatsu Man. Let's go! Oh, show me what you got, Frank. I mean, Yatra Man, whatever. Number one. Let's not use Yatra Man number Okay. I say let's use Yatra Man number two, but she doesn't want to come out and tag. There we go. I'll show the, uh, one of her supers when it's not actually charged here. This one. If you just let it go, bounces around, and then disappears. Uh, let's use it in the level 2 style. But, uh, if I can charge it, boom. Level 2 just goes straight down, just like level 3 just does less damage. That's, I believe, an unblockable. But yes, her best super to use is this little guy because you can set up unblockables, as I said. So yeah. Got a man number 2. Very, very hard character to use. But, it's like high risk versus high reward, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dash attack. Ow. Okay, now. I don't know what the hell to say anymore. I shocked Frank West. Did it again. Shocked him in the testicles. Yo, Katahika. Why am I using this attack? That's why. Woohoo, yeah. Now I get to see Yadami in number two pose. Yeah! But out of the preferred playstyles, I prefer Yatterman, number one. Is because his hyper combos are slightly easier to connect. If you just stand around and take pictures all day, of course I'm gonna. I couldn't read the rest of that, I'm sorry. As I said before, slow reader and not a very good reader. Somewhat of an illiterate. But not really. But yes. How come we're fighting PTX 40-A? I'm sorry, PTX-48. I don't know. I forget how to say it. At Frank West. Yes, PTX-40A. At Frank West's place. Makes no sense. Come on, Yatter man. Ow. Oh, dear God. He's got both of them. Get him, uh, pooch. Oh, yes. Apparently, Yatter man can get hit out of it. And, um, yeah. But this one, he can't get hit out of, I believe. That's right. Just do that. Oh, dear God! Got a man number two. Get in there. Show this peachy thing. Who's boss? Just stab him. Oh, dear God. Nothing I do is working. Little buddy. I don't know your name. Whatever it is, get in there. Beat the hell out of PTX. Ow. Yeah, beat the hell out of him. Oh, no, don't you kill me. Oh. Oh, I got him set up now. He's done. He stays. He can... Oh, God, I didn't have him set up. I was wrong. Horribly wrong. So long. Whee! Aha, take that. That's what you get, PTX. You get beat up by children. Children with toys for weapons, apparently. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's great. I'm the winner. Yay. Halfway through this. Pretty versatility for a robot, I gotta say, though. Your design is pretty... Oh, my God. It's just so much to read in so little time. Chun-Li and Beautiful Joe. I tried this team one time, but... I'm not that good with Chun-Li or Beautiful Joe. But I will be using Chun-Li 
Probably as the last Capcom character with, of course, her other Street Fighter friend. So there's a spoiler there. So yes, you can probably guess the next team I'm using for Capcom characters. If you haven't already, well, stay tuned. Stop it, Chun-Li! Aha! I'll run at you, I don't give a... I don't care, I'll run straight into danger. I'm Yatterman number one. Yeah, seven hit combo out of nowhere. What am I doing? I gotta... I wanna see if I can actually connect that burning combo. Whoops. There we go. No. Damn it, Joe. Of the beautiful variety. Stop it, Joe. Whoops. Nope, pressed the wrong button again. Because I wanna... I wanna do the off the ground, like, style attack. How can I get... Oh, I got an idea. Can I just do the... Uh, knock down that puts him in a stun state or a crumple state. Whoops. Aw, oh, damn it, Joe. Okay, apparently beautiful Joe is just too tiny to hit. Get in there, Yatter Man number two. Stop it. Stop it. Come here, my little friend. Wow, Chun Li. But yes, the friend still stays on. Show him. Show him who's boss. Show her who's boss! Here we go. Hopefully I can charge this. Nope. She knocked it out of me, but she did. Unlike beautiful Joe here. Yeah! Show me what you got, Joe. You've already been showing me what you got. Gotcha. Damn it. She actually has a really cool launcher animation. Damn it, Yatter Man. Your, your freaking technique sucks, or your. Attack sucks. Oh, come here. Damn. Should have known. But no. I wasn't smart enough. Charge it up. Shock beautiful Joe in the nuts. Shock him in the nuts, I say. Stop stop hitting me, Joe. Stop it. Yeah! Don't tase me, Joe. Don't tase me. Haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> Said a bro, I said Joe. Okay, it was a terrible pun. It's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the terrible Yatterman gameplay here too. <laughs> Why did I save these guys for such a long time? I should have done them earlier. Yatterman number two is actually, in case you didn't know, like Zero was put into the Ultimate All Stars version compared to Cross Generations. I believe on a technicality she replaces. The little genie guy. And she's a hidden character, too. Zero, Joe the Condor, and Frank West are all hidden characters. Oh, and Tekka Man Blade. And to unlock her, you actually have to beat the game with all those characters. But to unlock those characters is a pain in the ass, because you got to beat it with, like, three Capcom characters to unlock Frank, six Capcom characters to unlock Zero, and then, like, six Tatsunoko characters basically to unlock everybody. It's a little annoying. Damn it, I can only do that. I could just. Oh, why don't. Oh, Zero. Zero is one of my favorite characters to use, even though I'm not good with him, but we'll learn more about Zero in another time. Damn it all. Yes, you've ever guessed. Well, I'll save that for the next video. Let's go! Oh. I'll stab the shit out of you, Zero. Sorry for swearing. Stab. Get my little buddy in here. Yeah, where you going, Zero? You going nowhere. Yeah, try block. Oh, dear God. Zero's awesome level 3, which they should have put in MVC3, but they replaced it with the uh, other move there. Stop it, people. Stop beating my... Oh, I got it! I think it costs actual meter, though. Ow. Damn it all. Woohoo! So long. Coming at you. Oh, he almost anti aired me. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, there goes zero. Oh, there goes zero. <laughs> As I said, there goes zero. Get him, doggy! Yeah, wall bounce, now he's on the ground, he's dead! Yeah, burn, baby, burn! I said, 
power bombed me. He hyper bombed me. Can I get no, I was gonna try to do a team hyper combo, but that did not work in my favor. Let's see if I could get like a double pose here with Yatter Man 1 and 2, but I don't think you can, unless you're Frank West. Get a double pose with characters. Victory pose time! Yatter, Yatter, Yatter! Wow! Apparently they wanted to do the victory pose. Hey, Yatter Man number 2 and Ken the Eagle. Ken the Eagle and Yatter Man number 2. I got Yatter Man number 2 and Yatter Man number 1. Team Yatter Man number insert here. Let's go! Ken the Eagle will actually be the last Tatsunoko character along with June the Swan if you haven't figured that out already, if you haven't watched all my playthroughs of this yet. But, again, I don't know how to use Ken, that's for another video though. In fact, I should have saved the other Tatsunoko characters last instead of using the Gacha Man characters last. Should have used the Gacha Man characters first, aha! And yes, that assists with, um, what do you call there? What's her name? Yatter Man number two. You can set up unblockables and whatnot. Ow, damn it. Like so. See? It's unblockable, Ken. Oh, Yatter Man number two, how you doing? Guess what? Burn, baby. Burn. Burr. Hit her! Hit her! Okay, apparently they wanna. They wanna do what I did, but apparently they wanna. I got nothing, man. I'm, I'm starting to stumble over my own words. This is getting awful. Oh, dear God. Aha! Oh, she still dropped it. Apparently, that move is actually really good. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can do that. Combo into the shield. Why the hell did I tag in Yatter Man number one? That's right, to make her burn! Woohoo! What you got, Yatter Man? Two. Okay, show me what you got, Ken. The Eagle. Which some people will probably correct me saying, Ken the Eagle is more of the Batman of. What do you call their Tatsunoko instead of Hurricane Polymar. But, in actuality, I think Hurricane Polymar is because he's got kind of like a Batman outfit. And his suit is kind of like Batman. I actually tried to tag in Yatter. Oh dear god. She might set up. Unblockables, but she might be she might be stupid. Oh, how the hell does she do that one? I think you can. Oh, yeah, you can match the uh, heavy attack. Okay, it just doesn't come out as you want it to. Will you freaking die already? There, God. Okay, fine. Get in here, little buddy. Just, just kill it. Kill it. Yeah. Yatter Man 2 is actually very combo heavy too for some, but as I said, I don't know very much advanced combos. I just know the basic stuff. Aha! Yes! Ken the Eagle is going out with style. 35 hits. I think even more here. 37. People really gotta stop knocking on my door when I'm playing my damn game. This is why I need to record more at night, but I can't because I got a full-time job that makes me work in the day. But yes, I am actually recording this technically at night, but summertime nighttime, so the kids are up and they love their Uncle Klinkeroth for some reason. Let's go! Let's go, Yami. Oh dear god. I only say that about the knocking on the doors because I hope, I hope that um, whoever knocked on my door did not catch the microphone or that sound clip did not get into the microphone of somebody knocking on my door. But it is very annoying. Aha! Yes! We might go for Yatter Man number two. Uh, what do you call their ending? Even though I think both of them, they don't have the same ending, but I think they both have like some kind of ending in which I know Yatter Man 1's ending involves like a bunch of Capcom characters joining Team Yatter Man. I could be wrong though. Oh no you don't. Oh yes you do. You destroyed the dog. Uh, let's see you destroy it this time! Ah! I can't get hit out of it baby! Invulnerable Super! 
Invincible Super. Yeah, just backing up there, buddy. Ran him over multiple times on multiple occasions. I haven't even used Yatter Man number two in this fight. It's a little upsetting. Let's use her now. We're gonna stab the hell out of the hand. Poke the hell out of it like so. Ready? Ready? Oh, damn it. Do it again! Oh, dear God, get out of there. I jumped right into it again. Told you, she's a glass cannon. <laughs> she has no help. Invincible super just to do damage. Oh, dear God. I don't see me surviving this one. Did you see that? Yatterman number two's health was at full. It was at full health when she came in. Gets hit with one combo and dies. So I guess we're seeing Yatterman number one ending. Oh well. I tried. I did a stupid decision and apparently stupid things happen when you do stupid decisions. Oh look, Ryu, Chun-Li, and Alex. Rumble, rumble. Yes, Yatter Man number two is originally just a uh, cameo appearance. We gotta get out of here on the double. Yatter wine, gather up everyone and get them to safety. Rumble, rumble, crack. These animated sound effects. It's great. Huh? Gah! Uh, poor Yatter Man two. The ground, it's splitting up. Oh no! I chan. So are they brother and sister? Woof. <laughs> Yatter one. Because uh, Chan usually means brother, right? Or sister. Or something like that. Or maybe it's just some kind of thing. Yeah. I want to say, look at that. If they are brother and sisters, this is a very awkward moment for them. I chan, are you okay? You heard it all? I'm okay, thanks. I thought I was a goner for sure. They both got matching blonde hair. You had me worried there. I'm glad you're okay. So, yeah. I don't think they are. If they are, this is a very, very awkward picture. Yeah. Ganchan, Sniffle. So, they're not brother and sister. Okay, thank God. And apparently all the Street Fighter characters got ran over. Or run over, because look at Chun Li there, and Ryu and Alex all flat. Okay, so they're not. Pro Thank God, that would have been very awkward. Unless. Gai Chen, Ai Chen, Gai Chen, Ai Chen. Heart. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I'm actually glad I got this ending, because it's pretty funny. You know, I talked through most of it, and you're probably trying to read the text. But just like me, you can't read it that fast unless you are. Then, yeah, good for you. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this Tatsunoko vs. Capcom playthrough with Team Yatterman. Stay tuned for the next Team Capcom side. Who's it gonna be? Give you a hint, I'm saving Team Street Fighter for last. So, uh, yeah. You can probably already know if you look through all this playlist of who's next. My name is Klinkeroth. I thank you so much for watching.